Hello Techies. In this session, we will learn how to work with get file content action as well as get file content using path action which are available under OneDrive for Business. As a first action, we will learn about get file content. Before going to learn about this get file content action, let me show you a small example over here. In my OneDrive, I'm having a folder called Power Automate Desktop. In this Power Automate Desktop, I'm having a file called pad.docx, which is the document file. Now, I want to read the content which is available in this pad.docx file. How can I go ahead and do that by using OneDrive for Business Actions? In that case, I'm going to use get file content action to read the content from the particular file using this action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. That is get file content action. The main purpose of this get file content action is to get the or to read the content of a particular file which is available on the OneDrive for Business. If you see the parameters, I'm having file. This file, we are going to give the file which is available in OneDrive. There you can see I'm going to select the file or folder. Let me select this option and then I'm going to the root folder. Inside my root folder, I'm having two subfolders that is one is Power Automate Desktop, another one Microsoft Teams chart files, right? Now I'm having a file in Power Automate Desktop that is pad.docx. I want to read the content which is available in the pad.docx. Now, if you observe, I'm not going to give any kind of file path over here. I'm just directly trying to read which is available in the OneDrive for Business. That is file, I'm going to read it. Now, as an output, we are going to get the content from the particular file. Where it will be stored? It will be stored in the variable called get file content response. That is a variable which it is going to be produced by the get file content action. If you want to rename it, you can go ahead and you can rename it. But as of now, we are going to keep it as is. And then if you go for the advanced parameters, you can see over here, I'm having infer content type. It is true or false or omit. You are going to give it. I'm going to give it as true. And then the timeout, I'm going to give it as default. So I'm not going to give anything over here. Now, Whatever the output that you are going to get it from the get file content, it will be stored inside my get file content response. Now, if you observe, the output will come in the binary format in bytes. All right, we'll see that. Let me click on save. Now, let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. Now, if you observe, by using get file content action, it will read the data from the particular file and it will get that data from the file and it will stores in the get file content response. There you can see if you double click on the get file content, there if you see the properties and values, I'm having the response over here, which is in bytes. That is binary format. All right, now let me click on close. Now to read this data, which we are having in the binary format, how can I go ahead and read it? There we are going to use convert binary data to file. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace after get file content. Now, by using convert binary data to file action, we can convert any binary data to file format. Now, if you see over here, what is the binary data that we are having? That is get file content response. And then the data which has been converted that will be stored in the file path. Now, I'm going to give some temporary location that is in my C drive, I'm having downloads and then I'm having test folder. In the test folder, I'm going to give it as output.txt file. And then I'm going to click on open. Now, if you see whatever the data we are going to get it in the document, after reading the document, it will be converted into the binary data. After getting into the binary data, I'm going to convert the data into the file path by using convert binary data to file. They, if you see another parameter, if already if the file is already exists, then what we have to do? We have to overwrite or do nothing. 
as of now i don't have any file in the particular folder but still i'm going to use it as overwrite option let me click on save now let's run the flow to see the output by clicking on run flow execution started now if you see it is trying to get the data from the particular file by using get file content and after that it has been written in the file format by using convert binary data to file now if you see i'm having the output in text format let me double click on that to see the output now if you see over here this is the binary data which has been converted into file and it has been written in some other format now what i'm going to do this is the document file which we are having in the get file content so that i will write once again in the document format now over here i'm going to give it as dot docx in the document format and then i'm going to click on save now once again let's run the flow to see the output flow execution start now if you observe there is the output document has been created successfully after reading the content by using get file content and after it has been converted the binary data to file format let's double click on the output.docx file now if you observe over here i'm having the document that is output.docx which it is having some content over here right now we will see that the same content is there in the particular document that is pad.docx on one drive let me go back to one drive and then i'm just opening this pad.docx it is trying to open in another tab if you compare both the documents one is input that is pad.docx another is output output.docx right both are the same all right i hope you understand how to work with get file content action as part of this tutorial